This week we see the release of something very special. It's The Wicker Man on 4K Blu-ray. This is a beloved cult classic. One of the greatest British films ever made, in my opinion. It is the key text in the folk horror genre that has grown in massive popularity over the last few years. Hugely influential film on things such as uh, Midsummer by Ari Aster, famously. The film is such a weird blend of genres. It is horror, although maybe not many overt scares in it. It turns into a musical here and there, some great musical numbers in here. It's just very hard to put your finger on exactly what this film is. But the question is, is this worth upgrading to over your existing copies of the film that you have in your collection? So we're going to talk about the video and audio presentation first, and then we'll have a look at what you get in this collector's edition. The Wicker Man has had a 4K restoration, and this has been used across the different cuts of the film. If you're not familiar with the film's history, there are numerous cuts of the film which are presented in this release. All of them have used this 4K restoration. So we have the final cut, which as it says in the title is like the definitive edition as far as the filmmakers are concerned. There is the director's cut, which is an even longer cut than the final cut. And then there's the original theatrical version, which was shown on general release. All of these show a marked improvement in terms of visual quality, the clarity of the image, the detail that you can see. It's really using that 4K restoration of the negative, and it is so great to see it in such a, a filmic look. Very little digital effects have been used, or if they have, the results are not noticeable to the eye. Now in the director's cut and the final cut, the quality does drop in certain scenes where the materials were just not available to get such good quality as with the negative. So in the final cut, there's the scene at the church at the very beginning of the film, that is lower quality, as is a later scene in the pub when they're singing the folk tunes. And these scenes, they look kind of a bit more contrasty, there's lower detail in the image. Now these portions of the film shouldn't really take you out of the overall experience of the movie. The Dolby Vision HDR grade works perfectly in this film, presenting the colours and the light levels and the contrast in a very natural way. Nothing is overtuned here, nothing has been pumped up beyond what it should be. And I think it gives such a beautiful presentation to this film. The scene where all of the children are dancing around the maypole and the children in the classroom and the scene where there's the procession going towards the wicker man at the end of the film. All of that just looks so beautiful. The greens of the grass and the, and the land and the sky, everything just looks as it should. And that is why I'm so pleased with how the film looks. In terms of audio on this release, it's quite basic. There's not much to talk about. It's just the English mono track that is presented across all the presentations of this film, which does the job absolutely perfectly. This is not really the kind of release where you need, you know, a Dolby Atmos track. This is not the film for that. And it would probably come across as too gimmicky. So the film looks absolutely beautiful. I'm so happy with the visual presentation and the audio is great to match. Now let's have a quick look at what you get inside this. There are five discs in this set. The first one is a UHD, which has the final cut of the film and all of the special features, which are great by the way. A lot looking at the legacy of this film. There are new interviews. There's a feature on one of Robin Hardy's shooting scripts for the film that was only discovered this year, which talks about the ending of the movie, the proposed longer speech that Christopher Lee might have had. It's very interesting, as is the feature on the locations in the movie, comparing them from when the film was shot to today. The second 4K disc has the director's cut and the theatrical cut of the film, along with a historic commentary which has Robin Hardy, Christopher Lee and Edward Woodward on the commentary. Discs three and four in the set are Blu-ray discs, which just replicate those first two 4K discs. And the fifth disc is a CD. It's the Wicker Man EP from KTJ Pearson and Friends. Now, if we open up the box, 
it has this magnetic clasp and it opens like this and it's got this pop-up which says you will simply never understand the true nature of sacrifice. Now beyond this you can lift this flap up and everything else in the set is housed within here. Now I'm going to pull all this stuff out of the box to show you. So the box is empty and at this point I'll say while I really like the design of this box, I like the artwork, I like the pop-up, it isn't the best in terms of accessing these discs because to get the discs out you have to pull everything out of the box. I had to just tip it upside down to get stuff out. It's not necessarily a complaint, it's just something to be aware of and it shouldn't damage the discs at all. So the first thing that comes out is actually this flyer for some Wicker Man candles. So do go and check out that website if you want some nice Wicker Man inspired candles. Then you get two posters. You get this original designed poster, which was from the original release, which I don't think is that interesting to look at. But then the second poster is this one, which is using that new artwork inspired for the 50th anniversary of the film. Then you get something that I found quite funny. You get some postcards of Summer Isle. So this one says, greetings from Summer Isle, they'll never let you leave. There's also this greetings from Summer Isle, which shows some of the activities you can do when you visit. Then you get a collector's booklet, about 50 pages. This one's not going to win any awards. It's mostly pictures. There are some writings in here. Um, not the best booklet ever, but it's a nice thing to have. And then we get onto the digipack, which holds the discs themselves. If I open this up, you can see that you have the two 4K discs, the two Blu-rays, and then that audio CD. I was also kindly sent the 4K Steelbook version of the Wicker Man from Studio Canal, which is a very beautiful Steelbook indeed. I love the reverse of this. It's just great. The colours are beautiful. And while I'm not a steelbook collector as such anymore, I can still appreciate when one is done very well. Inside the steelbook you get four discs and this is just the same as the big collector's edition minus the audio CD. So you get the two 4Ks and the two Blu-rays. And that means it might be time to retire my Wicker Man set from Imprint Films, which is such a beautifully designed box. But of course, all of the content in the set is now outclassed by the new 4K release. So to conclude, this is a fantastic 4K release of a great cult classic British film. So this one gets my full recommendation and I expect this to be quite high on my top discs of the year later this year. If you enjoyed this video, you can watch another recent 4K review from me by clicking the video presented on screen right now. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you soon.